Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Bucks taking on the Suns. For the Bucks, they took care of home in Game 3 and look to take control of the series tonight. The fans are eager for another big win. Suns, Bucks. The NBA Finals continue. And here we go with Game 4 of the NBA Finals. We will see a Game 5, but will we see Game 6? That's the question. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Aiton is out there with Jake Crow. And it's Paul in at the one. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five spot. So the Bucks win the tip. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. He kicks to Middleton. Trying to get open is Lopez. Man, can he finish? Chris Middleton, so good at driving inside. And if you don't get there soon enough, he's turning it over on top of your head. They get it back. Pass to Bridges. The three. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ana Kumbo. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Monty Williams. David, what did he have to say? He told me when you're in this position in the finals, you have to try and capitalize on it. He said if we can go up 3-1 tonight with two chances to finish it off at home, we've given ourselves the best chance to succeed. Of course, he likes the odds in that scenario, Kevin. You wouldn't. Back to you. Thanks, David. Passes it to Crowder. Second shot opportunity. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. They know he's looking for him, so it's easy to see why Paul's teammates love him. On to Dekumbo against Crowder. Crowder with the steal. And up the court come the Suns on the break. No problems knocking that one down. Great idea to pull up and take the transition three there. The D was in position to block his path to the hoop if he took it inside. Onto Takumbo passes to DiVincenzo. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Stops, pops. That's good from Booker on the assist from Bridges. And because of that high basketball IQ he possesses, Booker takes great shots and he knows the value of the mid range game. Now, here is Holiday. To halt the run, hits the three point bomb. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Suns have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Even Genzo against Booker. And he makes good on the way up. Booker's got his third basket of the night. Not just an outside shooter. Booker is also skilled at getting it done from that area as well. Holiday left side over Paul. Good work defensively by Paul. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Bridges kicks to Booker. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. For Milwaukee, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Giannis outside. This is to Lopez. And the pass to DiVincenzo. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Paul against Howard. It's good. This is one of Paul's strengths to me. Very effective at taking advantage of any holes he sees in that in-between area on the floor. Now here is Holiday. Middleton outside. Three-pointer. 
Booker pulls it in. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. It's a five-point game. Beyond the arc. DiVincenzo with the rebound. Milwaukee's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Middleton for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Middleton's got five now. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass, which leaves the defense without much to do. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. On free throw coming up. About five of six to start. Looks like he brought his A game. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Suns. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy shots. You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. Now, here is Holiday. For three. That one, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. And, you know, you, you have to feel terrible about how that thing turned out. I mean, the game was really going about as expected until they just gave up that huge surge there late in the game. Totally lost momentum and ended up losing it. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance. Paul against Holiday. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got his second best. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Even Genzo finds Holiday. And another three for Milwaukee. How about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. Phoenix shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And he makes the first. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Sharks checked in for eight. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Bridges. And it's Payne in for Paul. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Bucks trail by three. And stolen by Payne. And here comes the break. Booker with no one around. Phoenix no good that time either. For Milwaukee, they've gone 6-10 from the field in this ballgame. 
A three ball. Portis finds Holiday. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Now here's Booker. 14 points for him. Here's the teardrop. And he gets it back. Here's Craig. A three-pointer off the mark. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And that'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, and bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Phoenix on defense. Holiday gets the bucket. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Johnson kicks to Booker. There's the triple. Sinks the triple. Booker's got 17. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Can't allow him to get into a groove. Pass to Forbes from downtown. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Payne. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Schorch. No luck, they battle on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Phoenix grabs the miss. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Here's Booker. And it's in there. Booker's got 19 points. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. The Bucks trail. Holiday surveying the floor. Pass to Connaughton. Lets it go with a three. Charge grabs the board. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Now, here's Tucker. Devin Booker missing his last shot. Here's Holiday. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. 15 points in the game. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Checked in for Tory Craig. Charge has the open look, hands it from downtown. And the Suns lead by two. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here is Holiday. He's got 15. Here's Connaughton. Can't nail the jump. The Sun shooting it officially from the get-go. They're at 52% for the field. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Passes to Connaughton. And Tucker has it in the corner. Perry's the long-range jumper. This is one of Tucker's strengths, folks. He's a knockdown spot-up shooter. 
And here's Phoenix. Payne passes to Aiton. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Down low. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Now here is Holiday. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. And here's Booker. He's got 19. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. But, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Booker dishes to Aiton. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. And the Suns lead by one. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. Goodness. Fires the three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Back right after this. And if you're wondering whether players watch the standings, check out this clip from Chris Paul. One thing we have to do is stop comparing ourselves to last year. Early in the year, we was doing that every couple games. We was like, man, our record was here. This was that. And teams change. Your games have to change. You know, Greg, he makes a great point. Even when you have mostly the same guys, every season is different. And if you're a coach, it'll give you gray hairs trying to preach that to your players. Many guys don't believe it until they're in it and then have to dig themselves out of a hole. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And from what we've seen, guys, from Phoenix, what do you guys see? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. On the court for the Suns, Andre Aiton out there with Johnson. Then it's Bridges. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Payne at the shooting guard position. Here is Forbes. A three for DiVincenzo. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis. And Ana Tacumbo subbed in for P.J. Tucker. And the Suns making a change here as well. Jay Crowder's checked in for Johnson. Suns leading by four. Paul outside. And there's the pass to Crowder. Kumbo grabs the miss. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. That's the DiVincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. DiVincenzo's got six. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis onto the Kumpo showing he wants to work it to his guy. For three, Bridges. The second chance effort. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Okay, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layup. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Aiton. You know, so much hype around Aiton. Has that rare combination of 
NBA-ready body, productivity, and upside. Ayton hits them both. Now DiVincenzo. He's got six. He dishes it to Forbes. From outside the arc, Phoenix grabs the miss. Crowder feeling it out a bit. The shot's good from Paul. You know, the more of these threes Paul hits, the more dangerous he becomes as a passer, and he hits his fair share of those threes. Giannis inside, defended by Crowder. Forbes can't get it to go. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now here's Middleton following the shot by Chris Paul. And to Dukumbo. Good on the shot. Giannis has got his first points in this one. Boy, nice job that time, guys, from Forbes. Spotting the wide open man and dropping the dime. Paul with the ball. He's got 10. The kick out to Crowder. Oh, good on the triple. Bucks trail by four. And they double up Giannis. Forbes the pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Forbes. Just five on the clock. Milwaukee the rebound. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Hey, offensive rebound. Positioning is important, but nothing's more important than pursuing the pumpkin. And Antetokounmpo is always in the chain. Now here's Paul. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. He had a nice open look right there. Middleton's got eight. Oh, I like seeing Middleton stroke it from downtown. That release of his, pure as white-driven snow. Paul's shot is off. Milwaukee's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. So they take the lead. Even Genzo's got five points now this quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets are coming from inside the paint now. Here's Paul. Makes that one his timeout, sixth timeout. of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. You know, Chris Paul will get his points any way he can. I mean, that's his aggressive nature. CP3. If it means handling contact, he's ready for it. Timeout called the Bucks, And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Drew Holiday is checked in for Milwaukee. And the Suns making a change here as well. Booker's checked in. For Milwaukee, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Pass to DiVincenzo. Over Paul. The shot by Holiday, no good. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist by Booker. Paul's got 17 now. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Now here is Holiday. He's got 17. DiVincenzo kicks to Middleton. Over Bridges. That's in, and the Suns lead is cut down now to just two on the basket for Middleton. 
Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. No good from Booker. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Inside, here's Antetokounmpo. Makes it off the glass. Antetokounmpo has got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Holiday against Paul. The kick out to Crowder. Good, and Paul gets the assist. He's got five. What a sweet assist by CP3. The Bucs have gone 7-13 for the field since the start of the second. The feed to Lopez. Right side, out of Dekumbo. And they double up out of Dekumbo. And stolen by Eaton. And Paul with a clear path to the hoop. Feeds it to Eaton. Back to Paul. Over Holiday. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one is on Holiday. You know, he's not a big guy, but he doesn't back up from anybody. I mean, Paul is really good at using his body to draw contact. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Charge checked in for the Suns. Johnson comes in for Bridges. And so he makes both from the line. And you know, with Paul, his competitive drive really accepts him. He wants to be one of the all-time greats. And he's got a great winning mindset. Now, here's Antetokounmpo. He has six. And Antetokounmpo shines it in. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Phoenix leading by three. Booker outside. Johnson against Middleton. Back to Booker. On the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got his fourth rebound in this one. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And Holiday kicks to DiVincenzo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists in the game. Phoenix has gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. And the Suns call time. And he could tell. His guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Different look for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo. And it's Pat Connington in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now here's Crowder. He has five. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Over to the wing. Crowder with the steal. The dish now to Booker. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. And it's a five-point Suns lead. Milwaukee's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. 
Passes it to Middleton. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Suns lean by five. To the inside. And Carter slams it in. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Now here is Holiday. 17 points in the game. The pass to Portis. They get it again. Here's Tucker. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Suns leading to the middle. Here's Paul. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. Paul's got 24. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. To the right side. Holiday against Paul. Holiday gets the bucket. 102 left in the second quarter. Ball against Holiday. Pass to Book. Let's it go from 11. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Bucks trail by four. To the paint. He's looking for Portis and finds him. And it goes down two points. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Paul surveying the floor. Here's Booker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists tonight. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Shot and game clock separated by five. Connaughton passes to Holiday. Another shot, Tucker. He's now two for three with that miss. Johnson in the corner. Offline with his three. A big time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for the Phoenix Sun. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, tight game. What do you think your team is doing out there so far? We played okay. You know, we didn't defend as well as we needed to. They made a run. It's a good team over there, but uh, just got to keep the pressure on. We'll see if the execution holds up. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the NBA Finals action continues here on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us on the Halftime Show. Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Ernie Johnson. And guys for the Suns, they are in a championship battle for every point, every rebound, every loose ball. But it's all worth it if they can finish this game strong and take a commanding 3-1 series advantage. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball. And that means playing with force, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? There's no excuse for letting a team drain that many threes. Come on, especially at such a high percentage. That means your perimeter defense is weak. They got to close out on the shooters with conviction, even if it creates some weakness inside. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan.
And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the small four. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Paul can't get it to go. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by four. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing he can find his teammates, too. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. And the official is in the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. And so it's Milwaukee with it. It's a one-point game. And here's up to the Kumbo outside. And it's Ayton with the rebound. Ayton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outer vision to Paul. Shoots the three. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Paul. Paul's got four assists now tonight. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Antetokounmpo passes to DiVincenzo. Bucks passing it around. Antetokounmpo against Crowder. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And dunking the ball is just second nature to Aiden. With the right positioning, he's a threat to throw it down. Now here's Giannis. He's got 10. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. From outside, off the mark. Suns leading by four. And here's Booker from the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Booker's got 24 points. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. From deep, onto the Kumbo. That's a miss. It's miss number two and shots from the floor. To the inside. It's thrown by onto the Kumbo. To the middle. Here's Holiday. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And the Bucks making a change here. Forbes checked in. Cameron Payne's checked in for the Suns. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. For Phoenix, they have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight.
first free throw is good. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. Payne hits them both. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's DiVincenzo. 11 points in the game. Kicks to Holiday. Pass to Forbes. The three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. Like the assertiveness, and that comes from having the green light to shoot off the pass. Or one of the very best shooters off the pass or triple. Now here's Payne. It's Crowder on the wing. Here's Hayton. And it's sent back by Lopez. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Now here's Adedekumbo. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Passes it to Forbes. Trying to get open as Lopez. And that one out goes bounds. out of bounds. Last touch by Aiton. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. Milwaukee making a switch here. Donatons checked in. Johnson, he's checked in for Phoenix. Giannis kicks to DiVincenzo. Here's Connaughton, defended by Bridges. Four on the shot clock. Trying to get open is Lopez. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns lead is cut to just three points on the basket for Monte de Kumbo. Phoenix has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. The pass to Johnson. And then Johnson with the jam. And he just dangles from the bucket after <laughs> sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. And the Bucks with possession here, following the score by Phoenix. Bridges passes to Payne. Johnson outside. Pass to Bridges. Here's the three. Aiton. And Aiton stays with it. Aiton's got the lead up to seven now for the Sun. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiden's special. Timeout called the Bucks. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Different look from Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis under Kumbo. And Middleton subbed in for Pat Connington. Sharch is checked in for the Suns. Paul comes in for Payne. Now here's Middleton. He's got 10. Good on the triple. Middleton's got 13. The D just sagged off just enough. And no hesitation on his part. Booker against DiVincenzo. Here's Hayton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. An absolute beast 
inside. Love how Aiden uses his size to draw these fouls. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he can't get the first one. And the Suns making a change here. Bridges checks in. It's the second from the line. Here's DiVincenzo. 11 points in the game. He kicks it to Forbes. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker's got rebound number five here tonight. Johnson outside. But they get it back. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. And the all-around offensive game Aiton has it is just fantastic, capable of scoring in many different ways. Here is Forbes. He's got six. Fires for three. Drills the three-pointer. Forbes has got nine. Well, those are starting to add guys up their last five baskets three have been tripled now here's Paul guarded closer that one goes let's count it Paul's got 26 watch out now when Paul finds his rhythm he's a creative score is comfortable pulling up from any area on the court Bucks trail by six Forbes the pass to Portis and here's DiVincenzo from the arc. That one misses. It's his fifth miss. He's made four baskets. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And it's Middleton penetrating from 15 feet away. And he sinks that one hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of execute. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellas who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. An awesome distributor. Booker's floor awareness and understanding of when to dish it is a real weapon. E. Vincenzo and the layup fall. 13 points in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the buck. And the Suns call time. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Holidays check in for Brent Forbes. Milwaukee on D. They trail by six. Booker. And he makes that one. 28 points for Devin Booker. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have and it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Booker looking around. 
Over in the corner, Paul. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got assist number eight here in this one already. Double team on Holiday. There's Portis. Rebound by the Suns. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Crowder is checked in for the Suns. Middleton with it. Chris Paul covering. Double team on Holiday. A three for DiVincenzo. And it's Ayton with the rebound. Ayton's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Bridges shot. Good. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now here is Holiday. He's got 25. Drops in the tray. Even Genzo's got 19 points. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Outside Crowder. Kicks it to Paul. Over Holiday. A shot by Paul. No good. Bucks trail by seven. And it's Middleton penetrating. That's a miss. And with it, he is five for nine. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Booker. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Booker's got nine points in the quarter. Against Booker, a little contact usually doesn't go a long way. Strong body control there. Here's Holiday. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GM. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. That free throw good from Holiday. Suns lean by six. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. Giannis Antetokounmpo. 19 seconds left in the third. Hooker inside. Defended by DiVincenzo. A nice shot by Booker. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Holiday with the three. The offensive rebound. Hey, that's why Anka Takumpo is so feared league-wide. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on you. And so it's Phoenix with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. They'll get right back to the action when we return. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. Six-point game. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Booker and Bridges are the wing. Jake Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Paul. A tip fly from 18. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. 
Ryan Holiday kicks to Giannis. Giannis is double. Lopez passes to DiVincenzo. Off target from three-point range. Phoenix leading by five. That's good from Booker on the assist by Bridges. Bridges has got six assists now in the game. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. On wing, Holiday defended by Paul. Kicks it down to Middleton. Let's the three fly. And it's Aiton with the rebound. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Now here's Middleton. And Holiday kicks to DiVincenzo. And the Bucks miss again. The Suns have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Timeout, timeout. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. sideline our reporter David Aldridge hey guys I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout he was begging them to step it up he said we've got to make the move now or we're going to be out of time and out of luck give it everything you've got out there Kevin? okay David thanks man holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense often it's with his scoring but right there making a play for someone else Took him no time at all on that one. Booker's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Here's Giannis. He's trying to get open his open. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's a ferocious player, great competitive spirit, tremendous work ethic, and highly skilled. He wants to dominate. Here's Booker. Following the bucket by the Bucks. Shock up two there. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Back to Holiday. Double team on Holiday. Outside on the Kumbo. Tipped away. Crowder with the steal. Here's Booker. Finish off the break. Booker's got the lead up to 13 now for the Suns. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Phoenix. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Here's Bridges after Drew Holiday's score. Pass to Aiton. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got seven rebounds in the game. And the turnover again by Milwaukee. You know, I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Phoenix. Booker outside. And he banks in the layup. Booker's got 47 points. No misses for him yet in this quarter. 
Solid as a rock. Bucks trail by 13. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. Wants to get it to Antetokounmpo and does. For three, Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Antetokounmpo's got his sixth assist on the night. And the Suns call time. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Booker left side. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. That one goes in. Holiday's got 32 points in the game. An intense competitor. It's clear that Holiday enjoys going hard at the defense and finishing up. Bucks trail by 10. It's Giannis with the drive that cuts the lead to single digits. Giannis has got 10 points in just the second half. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a team like this? Let's go. I like offense. First one falls for. All three throws good from Bridges. Bucks trail by ten. Outside Holiday. Double team on Holiday. A three for DiVincenzo. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And, and until he cools off, I'd keep the ball in his hand. Down low. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiden, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. Milwaukee's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Here's Giannis, and Giannis throws it down. I absolutely love how Antetokounmpo just has a winning mindset. Consistently, this guy is looking to go all the way to the basket. Has to be devastating trying to stop this guy if you're on defense. And it's the Suns with the ball after the basket by Milwaukee. And here's Holiday. Lopez passes to Andre Kumbo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision 
and willingness as a passer. Divincenzo against Booker. And stolen by Divincenzo. There's the killer two-handed slam. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiden. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Here's Middleton. Score the basket. His eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Booker. No good with the triple. Middleton against Bridges. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket for Middleton. Persistence pays for Middleton, commanding the ball and really demonstrating why his teammates trust him in these moments. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his third foul of the game. on the assist by Aiton. And that's now 33 points for Chris Paul. Tell you what, it's pretty obvious why CP3 is the man they rely on in these big moments. I mean, he's courageous, fearless, and productive. Now here's Young. And good that time. Giannis has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Well, I tell you, the future of the Greek freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. He gets it in there. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got 25 points in the game. You know, quite frankly, Middleton is the kind of guy that scores from all over the court. I mean, you just have to give him a little room so he can get his shot off, and he's typically knocking it down. You know, using his size advantage there to rip down that board in traffic. 115 left in the fourth. That evens the score. He has 29. Listen to that. <laughs> what is the decibel count in this building? Even Genzo against Booker. The 19-foot shot. And it's keeping it alive with a new 14. And that one's good, Aiton. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Yes! And in addition to his great talent... Anta Tukumpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. And here's a timeout for Monty Williams. to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick is going to be. He's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Two 
two seconds left to play here in the fourth. Aiton trying to break free. Bridges shot. Good. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. There is the triple. Look at the damage this young man is doing from deep. And there's another one. And it's a big one. What a performance from long range. Remarkable. And the Suns call time here. They trail by one. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And here's Booker from the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And now we've got the intentional foul. free throw is good and that will put them up by two the second one is good Getting both at the line and it's a three-point game absolutely massive free throw that'll force them into a three-point attempt Paul with the three bullseye a tremendous three to tie it up this is when some players pull in and tighten up a bit, but if you're talking about CP3, this is when it becomes fun for him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Exactly why Anthony Tacumpo is so loved. I mean, his ability to make the right call, the right decision, and pick and roll sets, that's why he's involved in those sets as much as he is. And so it's the Bucs who come out on top here. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A, a huge accomplishment. In this series, I think hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, congrats on the win. You had it going and talk about that mentality. I was just trying to be in attack mode. You know, my teammate did a great job, you know, helping me uh, just being aggressive throughout the game. I think we did a great job, you know, moving the ball offensive then uh, just guarding hard. And it showed in the second half, man. Thanks. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, David, thank you. Game four of the NBA Finals is all wrapped up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.